I know exactly why Bitcoin has been pumping so heavily towards the upside and on today's video I will be explaining what has happened on this move towards the upside, how we can know if this is going to be happening another time in the future as well and I will be just explaining about what currently is going on and why I potentially think that this is just the beginning of this massive rally we're about to get towards the upside. So make sure to watch this video till the end, I will be exactly explaining what is currently going on, I will exactly explain the most important charts, data, and many more stuff on today's update video. So without any further ado, don't forget to slap up that like button back above 800 likes. That will be absolutely amazing. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. So first of all, we've seen Bitcoin, of course, seen surge over, what is it, an approximately 12% in the last two and a half days. And one of the most important reasons about why this is currently happening is due to the fact that we're seeing massive inflows on the Bitcoin spot ETF. So yesterday, this new data came available from the spot Bitcoin ETF and this chart got released that is indicating that yesterday we saw an inflow of 8,881 Bitcoin. And this chart is telling us that we literally had the second highest net inflow on the spot Bitcoin ETF ever two days ago. And that is of course quite massive because two days ago was the point this massive rally started. And even more important news, yesterday we saw the lowest outflow on GPTC yet, only 51 million US dollars. Well, more than a couple hundred million dollars is flowing to these other ETFs. And you can clearly see the net US spot ETF flow is massively positive. And currently, ever since the launch of the 10th of January, we've seen 51,000 Bitcoins have been accumulated from the open market. And you can literally see that we're currently going exponential. And as right now, the outflows are slowing down, the inflows are still increasing. We are clearly seeing that basically these issuers, especially Fidelity and BlackRock, are massively buying up Bitcoin from the open market. So yeah, indeed, that explains a little bit about why Bitcoin is going up here. And, and honestly, that really explains a little bit about what currently is going on here. Bitcoin has seen a significant push towards the upside, and it is because there are massive new inflows on that spot Bitcoin ETF. There, there are literally hundreds of millions of worth of Bitcoin getting bought every single day, and the outflows are very, very small. And this is the real reason why Bitcoin is currently pushing towards the upside. I mean, yes, indeed, we're right now also seeing that there has been a lot of liquidations along the way up here. A lot of Bitcoin short positions got liquidated that were trying to catch the top on Bitcoin. And right now, it is just not looking like it is slowing down anytime soon here. And this is maybe the point where institutional FOMO really starts because you don't understand on how much capital is actually available, available that could flood the markets and that could send Bitcoin so much higher so right now jumping in towards my technical analysis i mean yes bitcoin has seen that push up towards the upside but what is currently happening because on yesterday's video i talked about this exact level right here this red line is my is going to be my target i said i think that this is most likely the level where i could be expecting some resistance for bitcoin and that exactly happened again so this was the level we tested and this was exactly the level that provided somewhat of resistance for bitcoin i also discussed it in yesterday's video but you have to understand the importance of this level this level has previously around provided massive resistance and once we got rejected here from the top side we basically had a falling knife down all the way down here to what is it 17 15 000 us dollars so so this is a very important level that you have to be looking out for and currently if we can manage to be breaking above this level it's going to be of course extremely bullish for the price section of bitcoin and once we clearly break above this level i will be directly notify everyone out there in the market so indeed bitcoin saw a significant significant push up towards the upside and right now is potentially even breaking above this very important resistance high and if we do so we are in for a massive continuation towards the upside so guys if you want to be trading bitcoin yourself make sure to go to deepcoin i am still looking to be opening up some new trades here i really wanted to be going long on the final correction but unfortunately i didn't have the chance but for me to be opening up my next trade i'm going to be clearly waiting a little bit here before i see a super good opportunity with low risk and right now since the market has already pumped so much here and I think it could definitely go much higher, but it already pumped, like, what is it, like 15% in the last two days. I am a little bit more careful. So if you want to be copy trading someone else that is also extremely profitable, make sure to go to Deepcoin because Deepcoin has the lowest latency and has the best copy traders out there, in my opinion. So make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video. You will also get an insane deposit bonus and you could get yourself a $10,000 trading account for only depositing $100 if you write in a standard account using the link below and you go to the top left and you go to the 
Genesis X challenge and read a little bit through how that worked, but you can literally get a 10K trading account for only depositing $100. Going further in towards the content, we can currently see, of course, that after this massive breakout here on Bitcoin on that symmetrical triangle, we saw the continuation towards the upside. And right now, we're literally hanging against the top side of resistance again. And this is the point where I expect some resistance is going to get found on Bitcoin. Also, due to the fact that right now it is Saturday, there are not going to be any Bitcoin spot ETF flows happening in the market. And due to that, we're not going to see any new moves getting created on Bitcoin, most likely. So I'm expecting the Bitcoin is going to be a little bit more boring. It's going to be a little bit more sideways consolidating. And that is what I think is going to be happening over the course of this weekend. And then next week, we can start to see another move here. So, And if there's going to be any dump over the course of the weekends, I personally think it's an opportunity I will be benefiting from. And then one thing I quickly want to be saying about the available supply for Bitcoin on exchanges and the price. I mean, we've seen a massive divergence on this chart, and this is super bullish in my opinion. There, we can clearly see that there are tens of thousands of Bitcoins getting bought every single day, and there is a less and less Bitcoin available on these exchanges. At one point, there is going to be no supply available anymore, or just less supply available, and that is going to be the real reason why Bitcoin is going to be going higher. And of course, like we do know, we are are about to be having that Bitcoin halving. We're just only an approximately 10 weeks out before the next Bitcoin halving when it's going to even shrink the supply even more. So this is not the time to be panicking. I think that this is really the time to pay attention. Honestly, I think that many people have no clue about what is to come for the next bull run with those spot Bitcoin ETFs. So long term, extremely bullish and definitely not necessarily and definitely on the short term, we could see some bearish price action. But if we are still going to see such a low outflows from the Grayscale Bitcoin Spot ETF and such kind of massive inflows from these other ETFs, we're most likely just going to see a massive continuation up higher. So going further, yesterday, I also pointed out this chart that I think that the 0 0.618, the $48,500 is going to be my main target of resistance. This was also the exact level where Bitcoin got rejected from. So interesting to be seeing that this level once again got us rejected. Honestly, this is also going to be the main level to be breaking. If Bitcoin breaks above 48.5k, that is a confirmation we're breaking above critical resistance. On this weekly time frame, it's going to be actually quite important to be closing the candle above this level right here. This would confirm also a weekly breakout of the region and more importantly also in the weekly time frame we can clearly start to see that we're creating this bullish hammer candle just like we did many times before and honestly once again it has just been playing out like we've saying i mean on the weekly time frame bitcoin has never looked bearish and one quick word about altcoins because many people have been asking me okay rover what kind of altcoins should i be buying honestly i've got a couple altcoins on my eyes currently where i am definitely interested in investing in and we can currently see that in the altcoin compared to bitcoin chart altcoins are still lacking a little bit behind bitcoin but i think that in the bull run they potentially could overtake bitcoin in terms of market cap in my opinion that is only going to be more than likely since in the last bull run it was at some stages altcoins were having more value than bitcoin but usually bitcoin was a little bit more valuable but still it is interesting to see what currently is playing out here but altcoins are definitely about to be catching up with bitcoin again here and once it does happen i really do believe that there are certain altcoins that are going to be exploding but if you want me to talk about that make sure to let me know in the comment section down below because then i will make a video about it on my second channel altcoin rover so make sure to subscribe to that channel as well but this was it for you in today's update video i truly hope you did learn something from it if you did so don't forget to slap on that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys back tomorrow on another video peace out goodbye